In this video, we'll be going through the different Modbus TCP IP modules that ProSoft Technology offers for the Rockwell Automation Control Logics platform. So you have a Control Logic system and you would like to communicate with devices over Modbus TCP IP. We've got you covered. When selecting a module, here is what you should keep in mind. First, let's go over the difference between client and server devices on a Modbus TCP IP network. Clients are devices that initiate communications to servers, who then respond. Clients don't talk directly to other client devices, nor do servers talk to other servers. A PLC can act as a client or server on the same network, communicating with various server devices and clients simultaneously. On the other hand, SCADA host or HMI terminals are almost always configured as a client, talking to servers. Devices such as variable frequency drives and flow meters typically act as a server and must be pulled by a client. Our MVI 56E Mnet C and MVI 56E Mnet modules are designed to be used in either a local control logics rack or a remote rack via Ethernet IP. We have two modules specially designed for remote control net rack applications, and that is the MVI 56E Mnet R and Mnet C R. The MVI 56E Mnet C is our most versatile module, supporting up to 30 client connections with 16 commands per client, and up to 20 server connections. It's ideal for applications such as monitoring meters and valves on a pipeline or controlling power relays, electrical meters, compressors, or chillers. Anything where there are multiple devices to communicate with. As a server, it can be used with a SCADA or distributed control system to communicate with other devices on the network. The MVI 56E Mnet also supports up to 20 servers, but is more specialized having only a single client connection, supporting up to 100 commands. This can be ideal for applications where the server device's internal data, such as with a PLC, is scattered among more than 16 locations in its memory, requiring numerous commands to be extracted. Then we have the MVI 56E Mnet R and Mnet C R for remote control net rack applications. Control net has limitations to how much data you can send in one packet, and these modules are optimized for that issue. The Mnet C R supports 30 client connections with 16 commands each, but has no server functionality. The Mnet R can act as a client and a server and has functionality similar to the Mnet in all other respects. Note that the MVI 56E Mnet XT and Mnet C XT are functionally the same as the Mnet and Mnet C, respectively. The XT versions are designed for the Logix XT control platform, allowing them to operate in extreme environments at higher or lower temperatures as well as harsh or caustic conditions. So, in conclusion, if you have multiple Modbus TCP IP server devices that you need to communicate with, go with the MVI 56E Mnet C. If you need significantly more than 16 commands for your client connection, you should consider the MVI 56E Mnet. If you intend to use the module in a remote rack via control net, you would use the Mnet R or Mnet C R. If your application is more complicated, like you need multiple connections and more than 16 commands per connection, contact our technical support for help figuring out your best option. Thanks for watching.